I really wanted a marble pedestal stand next to my couch, but they can be upwards of $1,000. So I figured I could make one myself and I purchased the porcelain tile from Home Depot. And then I kind of just glued it together with Gorilla Glue and I had the top tile cut to size at a marble shop and it really just works out. It's actually quite heavy and stable, so I really like that. Our product DIY is Definitely the radiator covers. I guess this building is very pre-war, so the radiators were very dirty, rusty, and like not appealing to the eye. So I decided to make a radiator cover and also a window seat for Chonka and also us to use sometimes. So whenever we leave Chonka alone, we all go outside. She goes to the window and just people stares and basically it's her television. Maria always wanted to put her mug down somewhere, so I built her a floating side table. So I went to Home Goods and I bought like a- Paper towel rack. Pa paper towel rack, and I just disassembled it and like made it into a side <laughs> table. I also made Maria one next to her side of the bed so she could put her phone at night and just whatever she needs. So I'm semi-lazy, so <laughs> <laughs> I did not like going to the kitchen even though this is a 400 square foot apartment. <laughs> so I made a coaster holder and a placemat and also salt and pepper shaker holders, so I, I would not have to be running back and forth from the kitchen. I loved how the rest of my space was turning out, but I really hated the kitchen. So it really became a huge DIY undertaking. I decided to use a faux wood white contact paper for the cabinets. I have a faux backsplash, and then I have a contact paper on the countertop. The other weird thing that I had to work with was this nook that was built into the cabinet. So I decided to brighten it up with some peel and stick wallpaper from Spoonflower. I thought this one was really gorgeous and kind of fit with the rest of the colors of the space. I bought some plain unfinished wood knobs off of Amazon and I painted them using some leftover paint that I had from my mural so I knew it was going to match perfectly. So I had actually seen this trick online from some other people who were doing some rental friendly makeovers. Before you put down any of the actual contact paper, cover everything in painter's tape and I use some poster board just to cover more area so that the contact paper is touching the least amount of the wood as possible. This will make it really easy when you move out. When I go to take this off, I'm not pulling contact paper off of wood. Contact paper is actually very strong and often very sticky, can be damaging. So putting something down beforehand that's not damaging, like painter's tape, you'll be much better off when you go to remove everything. The biggest DIY was the bathroom. I felt inspired by New York style bathrooms. I painted all with white and leave a line with black. I added vinyl to the floor to be a black and white floor too. And then I paint the cabinet with the same green of the kitchen. My bathroom doesn't have a lot of storage, so I need to find some storage outside the bathroom. Firstly, I use shelves, and these shelves were always very messy, so I fixed it, creating a fake armoire, putting doors around the shelves. I have a really long hallway as my apartment is a railway style home and I had no idea how to decorate it coming into the space. But over the years and over my time in New York City, I've accumulated a lot of postcards from different exhibits and restaurants and bars. So I wanted to showcase them in the really long hallway by putting up magnet boards and color coding them to accent the space. So my proudest DIY would definitely be the fireplace. That came together pretty easily and it was pretty cheap. Everything was under $200 and it was really minimal skill and effort to put it together. And these are just laid down onto the floor. I think there's opportunity to swap out the tiles if you wanted to change the look of the space or match to a particular color or piece of furniture. When I moved into the space, all of the counters, the backsplash, everything was all just white, exactly the same as the walls. Um, and it was kind of depressing, kind of sad. The overhead lighting was not that great. So my first uh, sort of project when I moved in here was to get this wood countertop, which is just a sticker, don't tell anyone. Um, and then also the backsplash is sort of the subway tile effect um, to just make it a little bit more cozy, a little bit more modern. Um, 
don't look too closely because it might be coming undone in a couple a uh, couple spots but I think it mostly gets the effect across and it makes it feel um, like it's a much more modern and a nice place to be. Because the lighting, like I said, isn't the best lighting. Um, I also installed this sort of like LED panel below and so you can sort of see some of like the guts, which <laughs> uh, you can't really see from eye level, which is nice, but um, this is nice because it sort of lights everything from above, but then at night when I come in here, it feels very moody um, and less harsh without the overhead lighting.